everybody, and good morning, and it is still morning, so I still have my morning coffee, so it, it hasn't turned to lunchtime yet, and I've been taking time with my coffee this morning, so just wanted to pop on here and say hi, and go over some really important things in regards to your LinkedIn profile, and some of these things that I, I have covered before 100%. But what I haven't really done is systematically go through exactly why your profile uh, is beyond important. So number one, as you come on, please do say hi and where you are coming in from uh, location wise. Please tag some people that you feel could benefit from this information. And number three, share this video. If, if you want to share it to your feed, you want to share it to someone, please do so so we can all be educated together. And if you do happen to come in on the replay, please use hashtag replay so I do know to come back and say hi as you come on to the video. So again, what we're going to be discussing today, what we are going to be discussing today uh, is the, the benefits, the benefits. Hey, Brian. Good to see you jumping on. Uh, we got Nydia, good to see you coming on. So we got North Carolina in the house. We got Texas in the house. So again, do say hi and where you're coming in from. So people may read the title of this and say, wow, you know, that's, that's a bold statement. That is a bold statement to say that your LinkedIn profile is more powerful than a website. Now, again, uh, I, I understand how people may feel that way, but I'm going to give you three specific reasons why, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's still important to have a website, but optimizing your LinkedIn profile is just as, if not more important than your website. Um, hey, Terry, good to see you coming on. Uh, she says, good morning, everybody from Kirkland, Washington. Love that. So again, as you do come on, as Terry, Nydia, and Brian have done, please do say hi and where you're coming in from. Please tag some people. Um, please make sure that you are um, sharing this if you feel compelled to do so. Yeah, first impression. Brian said, first impression is everything. And I could not agree more. Your profile is one of the, the main things, one of the main things uh, that people will see. And it's the first thing that they see. So there's three main reasons. There's three main reasons why your LinkedIn profile is more powerful, more powerful than a website. So number one, this is where people go to check your credibility. Now on a website, yes, you have your testimonials. But what I can tell you is there is no more powerful section on LinkedIn than your personal recommendation section. Now, I have been very, very consistent, very consistent at making sure that I am constantly growing my recommendation section. Now I'm going to show you how important this is. So when someone is going through your profile, they're checking out certain things. Now, when they get to my profile and they see this, when they get on there and they see that there are 460 written recommendations of people that I have collaborated with, worked with, coached in some way, shape, or form, people are not going to argue that you know what you're doing. The best credibility that any business owner could get is the credibility stated by someone else by someone that you worked with or worked for, someone that you coached, someone that you mentored, someone that came to see you speak, whatever it is. When someone goes to my profile 
and they scroll down to my recommendation section and they see that 460 people and the most recent one you can see was written May 24th, which is just last week. When you are consistently and always currently getting recommendations, people are going to check that credibility. So the fact is you need to be very mindful of this specific section on LinkedIn because people are always looking for a way to stand out. They're always looking for that it factor. You know, what, what is it about me? What is it about me that I could have myself stand out from everybody else? Now, no matter what you do for a profession, you know, Nydia is an agile coach and transformational change agent. Um, you know, Brian, if you want to type in the chat box, what you do, uh, Terry, if you want to type in the chat box, what you do, uh, D, if you want to type in the chat box, what you do, those specific things that you do for a profession, that is what you want to be known for. And that credibility is based on other people's results. So when, when someone says, you know, how credible is this person? How good is this person at what they do? How can someone argue with someone that has close to 500 recommendations? How can someone argue with that? And this is what you all need to do. You need to do things that separate you from everyone else and being, and, and it's, it's really this easy. So I, every week I go through and I, I go and when I finish with clients, I go on and I make sure that I'm, I'm asking clients that I've worked with. So my client Elaine, you know, I'm going to ask her for a recommendation. I'm going to select the relationship. Elaine was a client of mine. What was she a client for? Um, part of my mastermind. I'm going to click next. And then here's what you would do. So this is a, 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 a pre-prompted message. And um, I would be grateful for you. Uh, I would be grateful for your recommendation and would be happy to do the same and write one. For you, just use the above link um, to write the recommendation. Okay, and that's it. so. I would just copy this, and um, I would you know paste it. So now I I sent this, and you say request sent, and when they're done, they obviously send it back to you. So I am very very um, diligent about making sure that I'm constantly asking people to write recommendations that I've worked with, that I've coached, that I've mentored, so they can share that honest, transparent, and genuine result. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. Um, and uh, I have to say, I always thought that those feedbacks come automatically um, I wasn't sure that you should ask someone yet, yeah, Brian, absolutely ask someone if there's people that you've worked with, ask them, they're either going to write one or they're not. So there's plenty of people that I've asked that, you know, don't know how to write one or they haven't written one. But again, you want to do things that separate you from everyone else. Um, and just to kind of, you know, you know, uh, right here, Brian's a DOD instructor, uh, training manager, um, D uh, is essential service provider, network marketing. Um, Brian says, yes. D says, yes. Great. Now, if you've jumped on late, please do say hi and where you're coming in from. We're, we're, we're going over today, how to optimize your profile in, in a, in a way where it becomes more powerful, more powerful than anything else. And you can see my profile. You can see me right here. This is, this is live. We're watching it, uh, which is pretty cool. So it's like screen in screen right now, which is really, really interesting. So Brian says outstanding. 
So I'm going to stop my share really quickly to go over the second of three points. Now, number two. Number two. So there are three key areas within the top portion of your profile to make it stand out just like a website. So what you have to understand is when you optimize your profile and people are visiting it, and I'm going to show you how many people visit my profile every seven days. And it's, I'm so grateful for it. There's three key areas that you must have optimized. You have to have your cover story optimized. You have to have your name pronunciation optimized, and you have to have your featured content optimized. Now, what I'll tell you is this, not everyone has the cover story feature yet. And I'm going to show you what it is really quickly. So the featured story cover story, if you go to your profile, okay, you go to your profile and I'm going to click, I'm going to click on my profile picture and I'm going to click view my story. So look at this. So now you have something called LinkedIn cover story, which again, all you have to do, you, it's, it's best to do this from the mobile device. So all you have to do is go on the mobile app and not everybody has it yet. But if you do, there's going to be a little plus sign in the corner of your profile picture. And all you have to do is hit it and it allows you to create a 30 second introductory video to your profile. And you can see you can use that as a call to action. You can use it as a journey of where you want to take people. And Brian said, epic, personable, and professional. Absolutely. So when someone visits my profile, they can watch my LinkedIn cover story and I can direct them, hey, click the follow button. Hey, click the connect button. Send me a message if you'd like to learn about LinkedIn. So it's a way for you to tell those people that visit your profile, this is what I do, this is how I do it, and this is why I'm helping people. So that's the benefit to making sure that you're optimizing your profile. Now, again, not everyone has LinkedIn cover story yet, but when you do, you have to optimize it. So that's the first thing, making sure that your LinkedIn cover story is completely optimized and it's best to do it from the mobile device. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. If you've jumped on late, please do say hi and where you're coming in from, tag some people that need to see this, share this video. And if you are on the replay, hashtag replay. So I know to go back and say hello. So Remember, number two, we're going over the three key areas. The first key area is your cover story. The second key area is your name pronunciation. Now, your name pronunciation also has to be done from the mobile device. Now, to show you where that is and how also beneficial it is, I'm going to go back onto my LinkedIn profile. And when you scroll down, when you scroll down right here, so you're going to see this, and I'm going to play this for you really quickly. So now again, again, it's a 10 second audio clip. It's a 10 second audio clip. And, um, what do you recommend we include in the cover story? So, so Nydia, what I would include in the cover story, um, is who you are, uh, what it is that you do, how you serve people and what do you want them to do now visiting your profile? Do you want them to send you a message? Do you want them to connect with you, follow you, uh, check out your content? You decide what journey you want to take them on. So that 30 seconds, it's plenty, it's 30 seconds, plenty of time, plenty of time 
to really direct people where you want them to go. Um, I was doing a LinkedIn intensive last week. So I changed my cover story. My cover story last week was, hey, uh, thanks for visiting my profile. Um, I'm actually doing a free five-day LinkedIn intensive next week. It's May 24th through May 28th. If you go down to my featured content section below, the first piece of featured content is the registration page. Would love to see you part of the intensive. And thanks again for checking out my profile. So now that LinkedIn cover story becomes a lead magnet. It becomes a way where you can take people that visit your profile on a journey. Now, the name pronunciation is also just as important, but it's 10 seconds. So you got to be quick about it, but clear. So you can see I was very clear. This is what I do. Connect with me. Thanks for checking out my profile. Done. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. Now, to put in the name pronunciation, you must go onto the mobile device. You must go on the mobile device and there's going to be a pencil just like the one right here. It's going to be to the right of your profile picture. You're going to click it and then you're going to see name pronunciation. And if you don't have one, it's going to say, if you check it out on the desktop, it's going to say you must record from the mobile app. But when you're on the mobile app, it's going to say record your name pronunciation. And all you have to do is click the button. It's going to bring up the record button. You click record. You hold it down for 10 seconds and then you save it. And now it's on your profile. And this is such a great way, such a great way to connect with people even further on your profile. Now, the third part, and I touched on it, the third part, and I touched on it was your featured content, right? So cover story, name, pronunciation, featured content. Now, featured content is a way to highlight what it is that you've most recently talk about, talked about or something that you're promoting. So when you go down to your profile and you scroll down, you're going to see something right here called featured content. So I have a few pieces of featured content, right? So they're all right here. And these are just some videos that I did, to, but this was my most recent one. So the first one that people see, if they click it, it's going to take them to that exact post that you actually did. And this was actually something I shared. It was a very successful uh, poll that I did, you know, almost 300 votes. Uh, it was viewed by almost um, 9,000 people. And I was just sharing a little, you know, hiccup that I experienced on the LinkedIn platform. So it's a great way for you to showcase specific information that you want people to look at. So again, these are videos that I've done, but the other benefit to this is when you scroll over, you're going to get to a point where it's going to say, see all, and you can add as much featured content as you want. So you can scroll down and right here, um, uh, an infographic I put up there. This is a link directly to my podcast. So people can go here and they can click on this and now it's hyperlinked and they can go visit my podcast. So it's a way where you can get people to listen to your podcast right from your LinkedIn profile, just like a website. Now, if somebody wants to optimize their profile, this is a little free gift that I have for everyone. They click here and it takes them right to my website where they can then download their free infographic to optimize their website. So again, this is such a great resource where you can truly take your, the customer value journey. You can really take them on this journey of what, where you want them to go. Now, if you want to change anything, you can, you can. So if that makes sense so far, type Y or yes in the chat box. I know I'm throwing a lot at once, but I just want to show you more in depthly, if that's even a word, how beneficial it is to really optimize your LinkedIn profile, but to really take these people on this journey where they can really get to know you, but making yourself stand out. Now, something else that I, I shared on here was the views of my, of my pro. So I have appeared in eight, 187 search appearances. 
I've appeared in 887 search appearances. So when I click on this, look what this shows me. This is going to give me all the data, all the data that I need. Because what it's going to do is it's going to reveal to me who are the people that are checking out my profile, just like a website, right? So social sales links. So this is a company that I'm actually very familiar with. Eureka, Wedco. But what do these people do? Executive directors, founders, salespeople, business strategists, business owners. So then I can start searching and connecting for people that fit into those connection buckets. But also, look at this. LinkedIn is going to show me exactly what people put in the search engine to find me. Coach, specialist, entrepreneur, training course, speaker. So then I can go back and I can actually embed all of those keywords back into my profile. So again, this is a great way. This is a great way for people to really become more connected to you, taking them on that journey, on that journey when they visit your profile. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. Now, the third and final thing, the third and final thing. So remember, number one, this is where people go to check your credibility. So really utilizing, really utilizing the personal recommendation section. Number two, making sure that you have those three key areas of your profile optimized, your cover story, if it's available to you, the name pronunciation, your featured content. Now, if anybody, again, they, they want to start optimizing their profile um, a, a little bit better, um, what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to put in, this is my website. And again, if you want this free gift, um, you can absolutely have it. All you have to do is go to scottaaron.net, www.scottaaron.net. Um, and then that same little optimization, this is where you can start to learn those key things that you need to do to optimize your profile. So scottaaron.net, um, it'll have all of that information for you. So, so again, featured content your cover uh, LinkedIn cover story and your name pronunciation. So, so important. Now, the third and final thing, third and final thing is make sure you post consistently and rotate your featured content. This is the beautiful thing about LinkedIn because you want your featured content, just like a blog on a website, relevant and current. So you always want to rotate new pieces of content in your featured content section. So what I mean by that is when you go down here, you can see this was from last week. This was from last week. So when you want to change something, all you have to do is click this little pencil right here. And this is where you can go and you can remove something or add something. So if you want to add something to your featured content right here, I can click the plus sign. And again, you can put in a media so you can upload photos, documents, and presentations. You can show links to a website. So if you want people to visit your website or your podcast or an opt-in, you can use that. Articles uh, or posts. So say I wanted to add a new post. I can click the plus sign right here and it's going to go through all of the new posts that I did. So again, I'm doing a video right now. So if I want to feature this right now, I can feature the video that we're on right now in real time. So look, it's already here. This is live. So this is actually a way to show and showcase your most recent content by utilizing that featured section. So that featured content section is so vital and so important because again, it keeps you top of mind with those people that are visiting your profile. So again, if this has been helpful, type it has in the comments below. But also, if you haven't said hi yet, say hi, tag some people, share this video. And if you do happen to come in on the replay, hashtag replay. So what you have to understand is when you optimize your profile from top to bottom, 
When you optimize your profile from top to bottom, you become almost invincible on LinkedIn because now you're in control of the journey that someone visiting your profile is on. So 878 people in the last seven days have visited my profile. You compound that over four weeks, that's 36 hundred unique visitors to my profile alone. Imagine the data, imagine the data that you can share and also the data data you can gather. So why do, uh, then why do we have to pay for connections now? So you don't have to pay for connections anymore. So you don't, no connections are paid for. Um, you could, you're still free to connect with people. You just have to stay under a hundred connections, uh, a week. Um, so Nydia says it has, uh, Bodhi says it has awesome. So again, it is so beyond important, so beyond important that you really take that time to optimize your profile the right way. So remember the three reasons, number one, people go and check your credibility. So make sure that you take that time to ask people to write you recommendations, make sure you have the three key areas optimized in the top part of your profile, your cover story, your name pronunciation, and your featured content. And finally, number three, make sure you're posting consistently and rotate your featured content just like I showed you. So everyone, I hope this has been helpful. Please enjoy the rest of this beautiful day and I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye everybody.